everybody, I'm Lauren Stanton for the Muskegon Channel and I am joined by Matthew and Lori Schultz of McDonald's Corporation. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Okay, so huge announcement today that you guys, uh, Ronald McDonald House Charities is donating $95,000 to three Muskegon area local nonprofits. Can you tell us a little bit about what those nonprofits are? You bet. Sure. First. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, the first organization is Big Brothers and Big Sisters. The second organization is Children's Food Baskets. And the third one is the Symphony. The West, West Michigan Symphony. Yeah, okay. So I think a lot of people think of Ronald McDonald House Charities. They think of the Ronald McDonald House. How was it that you guys were able to um, get money to these three local nonprofits as well? Well, what's great is that the uh, customer is the one that comes in. We have the, the uh, donation baskets uh, on the counters. The consumer comes in, they donate the money, and then we, we end up using that money uh, towards nonprofit organizations uh, dealing with children, such as the Symphony or the uh, Food Basket, and uh, it's awesome. And big brother, big sister, we love it. Yeah, so $60,000 to kids' food. Kids Food Basket of Mesquite, yes, correct. Um, talk about that organization and why you decided the money should go towards that. It's awesome that this, the, the schools and the kids involved um, to have them make sure they have a lunch program available for them. Uh, it lets them think more, do better in school, and again, have food. Uh, it's just awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And we, we, we're just so they happy. They have a wholesome to be a part of it. meal at the end of the day, yeah. and uh, it just helps for better development in the future. Yeah, sending home those sack suppers yes. so they can go home with something yes. to eat later on in the evening. They all have a hand-drawn uh, mural on the bag. Yeah. Every and bag has a story. Yep. Nice. Every bag has a story. $25,000 going to the West Michigan Symphony. Yes. Talk about that money and where that'll go for the symphony. Um, I believe it's being used to um, buy new instruments for um, children that are in need and um, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's so fantastic. And then ten thousand dollars to Big Brothers Big Sisters of the Lake Shore. Big Brothers Big Sisters, great in the community, great to be a part of it, and I'm just looking so forward for them to get this money because they can they can use it. Yeah. And it's great to be a part of it. What do you want to say to all the people out there that helped make this donation possible? Thank you for your generosity. Yes. We as McDonald operators in the state of Michigan, thank you wholeheartedly and we appreciate every time you come in and donate. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. How long have you guys been running McDonald's in the Muskegon area? Um, just about a year and a half I purchased the Muskegon area. And but we've both been operators for quite some time. Quite some time. Yeah. So um, I know Muskegon is important to you guys. Um, what do you want to say to the community as a whole? We're here, we have value, our service is ready and we would love to see you. When we uh, made this commitment to the Muskegon area just year, just over a year ago, um, we made a commitment to reinvest in our restaurants, our people, and the community. And we feel we're doing a good job. Well, happy holidays, you guys. I know you, you just you. made the holidays for these three local organizations. We appreciate Thank it so, so much. much. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Matthew and Lori, we really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank, you. Thank you for joining us for this wonderful celebration. We are um, at one of our fine Muskegon restaurants here, and we um, are doing a couple donations to some wonderful charities. Thank this you. is Julie Donahue, Matthew Schultz, Lori Schultz, proud owner-operators. And Julie is on um, the board of directors for the Ronald McDonald House Charities. Since its inception, by the way, 30 years ago. <laughs> and, and, and right now, we, uh, we come here for the Ronald McDonald House Charities of Outstate Michigan through the generation of McDonald's operators, allowing the donation boxes to the stores. If it wasn't for the owner operators, we wouldn't be able to do this today. The Ronald McDonald House Children's Charities of Outstate been around for 30 years. We're proud of the hundreds of tax-exempt children's organizations that we serve throughout the state of Michigan along with providing hundreds of thousands of dollars to the Ronald Houses in Grand Rapids and Lansing. The Ronald McDonald House Charities of Outstate serves most of the state of Michigan except for Ann Arbor, Detroit and part of the UP. Approximately 300 restaurants are involved. Above all, we thank the McDonald's customer for their generous donations 
during the year and helping the children live happier and healthier lives. Well, from Big Brothers Big Sisters, we truly appreciate um, the support. It really helps to make a difference with our matches each and every day with their bigs and their littles to be able to make a difference in you know, improving their education goals and really to improve their self-esteem and help them look towards a really positive future. So we really appreciate the support and helping our current matches and our new matches as we go forward. All right, and let me you? present this wonderful check of $25,000 for children's programs. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you. We are deeply honored to, to receive this. Thank you so much for your support. Most people are familiar with uh, the West Michigan Symphony's concerts at the Frauenthal Theater, but that's the tip of the iceberg. Uh, what a lot of people don't see is all of the work that we do with young people throughout the community, and it's the most, most important thing that we do, really. And um, funds like this will enable us to uh, provide access to our Link Up program, to our children's choir, our debut strings and some of our other programs regardless of the of the young people's socioeconomic background so uh, we really appreciate this and thank you so much wonderful well we just want to say a huge thank you um, and share a little quick story so when kids food basket first got started we're an organization that was started with a three thousand dollar gift 16 and a half years ago and we started in two different church basements and our second year we moved into a small warehouse space and that year was the first time that we had the opportunity to meet Ronald McDonald House Charities. Our budget was very small, and Ronald McDonald House Charities board members came into our very small little piece of warehouse space to see what we were doing, why we were doing it, what the impact was. We were only serving about 300 kids a day. And there was such a great synergy with the opportunity for our MHC and the impact that they could make with the gift, that we made a $10,000 gift that very first year in 2004, and Kids Food Basket was able to start serving more kids immediately, and because of that, we've now had a 14-year relationship, and so that relationship has made such a tremendous impact. Athens going to talk a little bit about what that's done. So over the course of the history of our relationship with Ronald McDonald House Charities, you have all given us a total of $369,000 over 14 years. Wow. And for us, that means 8,000 children are getting nourishing evening meals each weeknight across three counties. Here in Muskegon, this gift for $50,000 for our Muskegon program is serving 1,200 children a critical evening meal, where we have schools like Nelson Elementary where they've had an 86% decrease in end of day suspensions because of gifts like this. Kids are ready and coming ready to learn to school. They're staying to learn and it's impacting the fabric of our classrooms. An additional 10,000 is going to our Holland community where we're serving just under 1,000 students each weekday as well. So we're so grateful for this gift. It makes a tremendous difference. We're a charitably funded nonprofit and our partnerships like this are what make us and our growth possible. So thank you so, so much. So Bridget Clark Whitney from Kids Food Basket joins us now. Talk about this huge gift you were given today. Yeah, it is. It's so incredible. So. Ronald McDonald House Charities and Kids Food Basket have a very special relationship that goes back now over 14 years. They took a chance on us when we were a small organization that had a waiting list a mile long, and they said, we believe in what you're doing. We want to make sure that kids have access to good, healthy food every day. And so they made an investment in Kids Food Basket when we are a very small organization with a very small budget. And now 14 years later, they've made over $300,000 in gifts over those 14 years. This gift in particular will help us expand in Muskegon and in Holland, two lakeshore communities where there's a huge need and we're not able to satisfy right now all of the need that exists. Yeah, let's talk about the yeah. need here in the Muskegon and Holland area. Absolutely, yep. Well, see, here in Muskegon, we have 11 schools that are still on our wait list for services. Okay. All of those schools that are still on our wait list have over 70% of students receiving free or reduced school lunch. Okay. There are over 12,000 kids in Muskegon that are considered food insecure, which means they simply don't have the food that they need each and every day to be successful, to be their best and to reach their full potential. And that's what Kids Food Basket is doing. Kids who are living in poverty are living with so many barriers to success. We're breaking down one of those barriers every single day, consistently throughout the school year and throughout the summer to make sure that kids are well nourished, ready to learn, and ready to be their best selves. Yeah, talk about where yeah. that money goes. I mean, yes. there's $60,000 donation I this know. time. Yep. Talk about where that money specifically goes as yeah. far as what are you buying for them and putting into those sets. Yes, yes. So that money in particular, supporting the schools that we're serving right now and supporting healthy nourishing meals. So those healthy nourishing meals are full of locally sourced dairies, locally sourced meats, 
fresh fruits and vegetables each and every weekday, every meal, as at least a serving and a half of fresh fruit, at least a serving and a half of fresh vegetables, healthy nourishing snacks like trail mix, that's growing to kids each and every weekday. And so that's what it's funding, every single meal. And right now in Muskegon, we're serving almost 1,200 children a day. But because the need is so big, we're only serving about 12% of the need, and we need to continue to keep growing. And so relationships like this with our MHC continue to help us grow. What have you heard from teachers yes. and parents yep. and maybe even the kids themselves about these sex suckers that go home? Absolutely. We hear oftentimes that when kids are living with the barriers of poverty, they oftentimes don't know what's next, how those basic needs will be met. We show up every day and we provide a basic need, right? We're breaking down that barrier and oftentimes we hear from families and from parents that helps them keep the lights on. Right? or it helps them get an important prescription because they know that their children have this healthy, nourishing food. It's tough to live in poverty. We have so many families who are living one parent who's working or single parent household and, and, and they're not simply not making enough to make ends meet. And this sack supper full of healthy food for kids is really helping their families. But beyond that, what we know in schools, when kids show up to school every day and they have healthy food, there's less truancy, less sicknesses, less behavioral issues, and significantly higher test scores. In fact, one of our schools in Muskegon, in the first year of serving that school, had a 21% increase in their national test scores. In the first year of kids for best being in their school. Yeah, huge. huge. Yeah, yeah, such a difference. It is. What do you have to say to the people in the Muskegon area that helped make this happen? That's right. Well, Kids Food Basket is a community solution to child hunger. It's not about Kids Food Basket team members. It's about our volunteers. We don't see ourselves as the chief heroes to this work. We see ourselves as the chief host. Everyone in Muskegon, if you've decorated a bag, if you've come in to volunteer, if you've made a sandwich or put together a sack supper, you are the reason our kids are thriving. You are the reason that we are breaking down the barriers of poverty and that our kids will have the opportunity to be their best selves. So thank you. Keep volunteering. Keep being engaged. We need you. Our kids need you. What a fantastic holiday gift this time of year, isn't it? Yeah, Absolutely. Sure. Yes.